Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Micron Insight 2019. Brought to you by Micron. Welcome back to San Francisco, everybody. This is a Micron Insight 2019, and you're watching theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. I'm Dave Vellante with my co-host, David Floyer. Dee Mooney is here, she's the executive director of Micron Gives. That's right. Give us the story. That's What's right. happening with, with Micron Gives? Tech for good, we love the tech for good <laughs> stories. Tech companies are really taking this seriously. This is not just lip service. You know, give us the update. That's right, that's right. We are so proud of our company that they established a foundation 20 years ago to give back to our global communities. And since then, we have given $115 million away and over 10,000 grants. So we have seen a lot of different opportunities in our global communities, and it's just been fabulous that our company supports this good work. So you, you talked today about you know, water.org, mm -hmm. what's going on there, why is that important, and what's your role there? So what we did is we started taking a look at an organization that we have, we have started recently being, being more engaged with basic human needs and the grants that those support. And when we were taking a look at really what is the primary basic human need, we discovered it really is the need for water. And there are millions of people that cannot access this precious resource. And it's just, it was really surprising to us to think we take it for granted so much, but yet it is very difficult to, to get. So as we took a look at this, there was a lot of information that this organization collects. And so we thought, well this will be a great opportunity for us to utilize information to enrich life and bring in some of our advanced computing expertise along with our philanthropy to help them reach their mission even greater and faster. I mean this is huge. I, I was at an event earlier this week and, and the keynote speaker was an ultra marathoner. Mm. And he literally, he, at one point he ran 4,500 miles across the continent of Africa, he and two other ultra runners. And people were asking, well, what was the biggest challenge? Was it the heat, was it the pain? And he said, you know, the biggest challenge was seeing cool. the challenges yeah. of, of the communities getting potable water. That was the yeah. number one thing that, you know, he, that left the impression. So, I mean, this is a huge global problem. It really is, and our manufacturing operations, you know, we're global, and we are located in water-scarce areas of the world, and so it really became, you know, it's a micron issue too, I mean, it's one of our biggest environmental issues that we talk about, and water.org has just been a leader in this space, and it has been just fabulous to work with them, and really they have so much passion and dedication towards this, they've been able to help 22 million people already. All right, so they're lining up for the, for mm -hmm. the main stage. Just give us real quick uh, some of the grants that you guys have given. Yes, so last year at this event, we announced our Advancing Curiosity, and we announced three recipients last year, and since then we have four more. That's UCLA, RIT, University of Texas at Austin, and University of Washington. Awesome, that's great. Well, listen, Absolutely. congratulations, yeah. Dee, on all yeah. your great work. We really appreciate you taking some time on theCUBE. Yeah. Thank all right, you. and thank you for watching, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest from Micron Insight 2019 on theCUBE. Right back.